Uki, the Husqvarna GT. It was a toss between it and the Ford YT, but I decided to get the Husqvarna in here because it needs a little bit more work than the Ford. The Ford needs electrical work and fuel lines, which I might start tomorrow. We'll see. But um, this thing here needs a few different things. I don't want to spend any money on this machine, so I'm going to try and repair what's here. As you can see, I brought the deck in. I'm going to let it defrost in front of the heater for a little bit. I'm going to stick the deck on and we'll see if the PTO is working. I'm also going to uh, be pulling the engine. So I know it's going to sound, sound kind of half-assed backwards the way I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do is put the deck on, push it outside, fire it up and see if the deck operates. Then I'm going to bring it back in and possibly pull the engine. I got to get to the stator. There's a couple different things that might be going wrong with the stator. It could be the magnets on the flywheel, flywheel have demagnetized or the stator itself has, has died. Um, I talked to a local shop and they said I should be getting 0.4 ohms or around 0.4 ohms off the stator, which I'm getting 0.6 ohms. I'll do a separate video talking about the stator, which will be actually uploaded way before this video does. So like I said, I'm getting 0.6 ohms coming off the stator, which I think which it should be okay. So I'm thinking the flywheel itself is demagnetized. They actually had a similar situation where a Kohler Magnum flywheel for the stator side did demagnetize and apparently the owner put a couple different stators in it, didn't fix it until they figured out that's what the actual issue was. Also, the big issue with this machine is the deck lift. So I'd like to get the deck on there and make sure it operates and then the deck may have to come back off but it's only four clips. It's a quick, uh, it's a quick change deck, so it makes it nice and easy to take on and off. Um, the deck lift is electric on this machine, and it does not work. So I'd like to take it off and see if I can try and repair it. The issues are uh, these machines are hard to find parts for here in Canada. They, like I said in a previous video, they did not sell very many of these machines in Canada, the GT models. We more sold the LT models. So the GTs... It is hard to find parts for. Hopefully, if the, if I cannot fix the deck lift uh, ram, I can um, get a new one or get a good used one off eBay. Uh, that's most likely what I'm going to be leaning towards doing, unless I can try and fix this one, get the motor freed up, and it works. But I think right now it's set in the lowest position, so I think they put it down and they could never get it to come back up. That's my uh, suspicions on why the uh, deck lift does not work. But other than that, the machine is a usable machine. I know it has turn signals on it and a couple other kind of cheesy things on it. But for what I was using this machine for, I did kind of need them. So they did work out for me. If someone wants to take them off in the future, it's not a huge deal to do so. It only cost me, I think, about 40 bucks to buy the whole kit on Amazon. And really, leave them on, take them off, it doesn't really matter. Um, everything is functioning. Also, the uh, turn signal switch, I've had that for years, is kicking around. So, but anyways, I'm going to get get to it, get the uh, deck put on, try and feed the belt in with the hood in place, and we'll go from there and see what happens. Also, I'm having um, some starter sounds that are not very good for these engines. It's um, pretty much grinding occasionally. It occasionally will engage right away. Occasionally the starter will grind, so I don't know if it's misaligned or what the deal is. Last time I had the flywheel off, I did pull the starter off. So I'm thinking the starter might be a little bit misaligned or the starter itself, the uh, Bendex is starting to go. But uh, let's just hit the key and see if it does decide to do noise. Hopefully it doesn't fire. And of course it breaks. Also, this machine, out of just about everything I have, uh, besides the tractors that are being sold, um, this is the only machine that actually has functioning brakes. You heard it there. Of course, when I wanted to do the sound, it won't. When I went to bring it in here, it did it quite a few times. But uh, let this machine warm up, stick the deck on, and uh, see what happens. Okay, got the um, deck back on Husqvarna. Like I was mentioning before, 
the big issue that this thing's having is the deck lift does not work so that's definitely gonna have to be resolved but it is stuck in the down position which isn't a bad spot to have it stuck in it's better than having it uh, stuck up but I just did a test it will in fact operate the PTO PTO is hooked back up and It just puts a huge strain on the battery since the charging system is not working at the moment. So the next thing that needs to be done to this machine is that engine needs to come out. I know I'm, I said from the beginning I'm doing everything half-assed backwards, but I wanted to make sure this machine would have potential to cut before diving into the engine. I've had the engine apart once before at the old house and um, right now I'm actually going to pull it apart again. And see if I can uh, fix the mag magneticity on the actual flywheel and really that's what this machine needs or sell it as is and disclose what's wrong with it but I'd like to definitely make an attempt at fixing it but um, running that PTO definitely puts a strain on the charging system we'll have to put that battery on the charger and we'll go from there but um, next time you see this I'll be having the engine out that'll probably be end up being a separate video again and also i'd be when we pulling off the um raise and lower arm underneath and that will also be a separate video but uh, the stage first stage of the husqvarna gt is done it will um has or sorry it does have the potential to mow it's just a matter of getting the uh, electrical gremlins worked out i'm also having an issue with the main fuse coming loose and that's that's minor just have to tighten up the uh terminals on the inside but hey it's got potential so i'll talk to you later please keep reading like always and uh please subscribe